today. Oh, oh, hang on. What? We're recording a video today? Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. You've seemed to just... You've awakened this hero. I know, I know. Hold the round of applause. I'm pretty good at puns. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice. But uh, today we're actually opening up the other set. If you haven't seen the... Uh, what was it? The Trans Dimensional Beasts. Whatever. I don't know what it was called. Some absolutely crazy name. This is uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, set number four, part two. Uh, just because they do, I don't know, Japan do two separate sets. So, we just unboxed the uh, previous booster box, got insane pulls. Like, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. We got secret rares, we got GXs, full art cards. It was nuts. But now we're opening the Awakened Heroes booster box right here. I don't know why he's on a helipad, but like... It looks sick. I'm really down to open some of these cards, and uh, I know some of the full arts in here are absolutely incredible. But the uh, craziest part about this whole set is I'm not really drawn to any of these cards, besides it's like amazing looking double barcode right here. It, there's nothing too crazy about this set. I like, there's no cards I'm really dying to get. It's just generally a cool thing. I think there's about 50 cards in there. I'm excited. Let's crack it open. Let's see what it's all about. And without further ado, let's get the snippers out. Let's do it. Oh my gosh, I nearly lost an eyeball. You know, I don't know about you guys, but like, Silvalli's flipping, uh, like, look at his mohawk right here. It's literally gold. I could never do a mohawk this good, because for this video I was thinking, you know what? Ando's going to do some arts and craft for his hair. I'm going to do some, like, crazy mohawk hairstyle. Everyone's going to think, wow, Ando, that's a sick looking haircut. I know, it rarely happens, but I was thinking, let's, let's look that cool. You can't match it. That That's just unparalleled awesome on his head. I don't know what he did. I don't know what he asked for. He goes, yo, Barber, do the Silvalli Cup. And he got a good one. So, yeah, I, I definitely did a little mohawk for this video. Oh, gosh. Regular uncommon to kick this thing uh, this thing right off. Look at this artwork right here, though. Pretty cool. It's got, like, a uh, hidden gym in the background. Yeah, so I don't know. This whole set, I'm literally 50-50 about. The uh, Sapphire is on the boost back though, it's fantastic. The way this box is designed, it's definitely a more appealing sort of artwork on the boost box uh, than Transdimensional uh, Beasts. Dude, what? I haven't seen her in like a set in ages. That's pretty cool, definitely. Oh bro, oh what the heck? It's flipping Mohawk Man on the second boost back in. This is fantastic, we've already pulled the mascot of the set, the GX card, 210, 120 and 50 times already. Holy mother duck. That's what it looks like when flipping birds come to swoop me outside. They're like, I don't know, there's birds in the tree outside. They come to swoop me sometimes. That's all I see, the horrifying... <coughs> but dude, like, that's a fantastic start. Holy... <laughs> I that was so off guard. I was literally just talking about the set. And then we go and pull the mascot. This is not good, though, because, like, I don't actually know too many other cards in the set that I'm dying to pull. I mean, this guy, obviously, because he's the main dude, he's got a mohawk. I guess maybe the rainbow rare, the full-up ver version, but, like... Second booster in, we pull the GX. I'm loving it though. Ratios on these sets are crazy good. Like we're always getting fantastic pulls. The holy cards look fantastic, dude. It's uh, it's it's amazing. Yeah, oh god. Oh, okay. Let's just um, you guys, you guys. Okay, ready? Okay, 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 okay. What is it? Oh my gosh! What has happened two times in a row? It's happened two times. Seriously, I apologize. I think I actually had a stroke when I saw I saw the bottom of this card in the booster. <laughs> and there were words coming out of my mouth. My brain's like, connect, can't connect. Dude, on the second, like for the second time in a row, on the second booster box, we've got to pull the ultra rare, secret rare energy, number 61 out of 50, the very last card in the entire set, the rarest one out of the entire set that you can get. This is the rarest card. Literally not. What is this like? What's the official name for this card? I'm sure it's epic. Let me check. Woo! Damn, Daniel. This thing's called the Warp Energy. So uh, I guess it warps energy across the field or whatever. Oh my gosh. Pure gold, 100% uh, with that full art texture. Gleams everywhere. Like all these lens flares as well. Dude, I love how we just casually pull the mascot of the set, the Warp Energy. Life doesn't get... <laughs> what is? What are we on? The third booster? I think we literally are on the third booster. What an what a absolute incredible start. Alright, so already amazing stuff right there. Warp Energy, straight after Silvalli GX. I, I don't know. See, as I said, 
I don't have any expectations for this box, so everything sort of takes me by surprise. I think this might be the new Spirit Link, though, you know. R.I.P. CDs, now you get half a brick with them. Got a Lolan, uh, go oh, oh gosh, it's another holo. This time it's, oh my gosh. How flipping epic does Agron look? Holy smokes, 120 down the bottom there. And just all round, he's like an absolute boss sort of Pokemon, destroying that thing, and a holo. So is that, that's officially a hat trick, I'm pretty sure. Oh gosh, we got like rubbish everywhere. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. Hat trick. <laughs> Okay, we literally, this is too good to be true. I'm so worried about the rest of the box and the rest of the pools. But the start was fantastic. Catnia, we're gonna Ghastly, and there we go, the Reggie Steel. There's like a theme here, like all these Reggies are all like uh, captive and all that. Um, but yeah, so this is Sun and Moon number four, right? I'm not 100% sure on the cards I'm dying to get, so I won't really speculate on that too much, just because I don't wanna, I don't know, get my hopes up for a card that might not even be in the set. What? That's rigged. That is so rigged. What? Never. Are you going to back-to-back uncommons the same? Like, this was directly out of the booster box, and you go and double up? Okay, okay. I've got a bad feeling. The Pokemon machine's broken. But that also could be a fantastic feeling, because uh, if the Pokemon machine's broken, it won't remember that we've already pulled two fantastic cards. And... Dude, it could double up! A lot. What? A Lolan Golem. What is going on right now? Dude, this is also a fuller card and a rainbow card. Oh my god, we've now pulled three ultra rare cards in the very first part, and we like we're not even probably halfway through those boosters right yet. We're like five deep. What is happening right now? This is what I'm talking about. I think the machine's broken because you don't just pull back to back uncommons that are exactly the same. I knew something was up. 200, 180 right there. This is amazing. Look at that up. Oh, that is so epic. A Lolan Golem. Okay, everyone. We've still got like six boosters to go. 200 attack. That's so brutal. Recap is going to be flames. Like dead set. Someone's going to drop a mixtape. All right. One from the back. I told you guys. I knew it. I knew it. All right. Next one is just a regular uncommon. I'm waiting because I, oh, I just know there's going to be one more. I think as crazy as it sounds... We're going to get four GXs in this very first part, which is nuts because only should you ever get four GXs for the whole entire booster box. Another holo. Kind of a weak art for Gengar, I'm not going to lie. Usually he's really detailed, got a 3D aspect. That was sort of, that's a 2D one. It's, I don't know, it's cool. Color definitely does pop. Purple's cool. Um, but I feel like Gengar should have a bit more of an awesome, epic artwork. But yeah, as I said, as I was trying to say a while ago, this is Sun and Moon 4. The next set, I don't think they're doing Sun and Moon 5. I think Japan literally the other day just announced they're going straight to Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. The very first Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon set's coming out, which means we're changing. That was like, oh gosh, I can't have stuck right in here. That was so quick because I literally remember the very first base set, Sun and Moon uh, booster box coming out. We unboxed it. Everyone was like, this is going to be a fantastic set. We're four deep and already they're like, let's change it. Let's change it up. Which is just nuts to me. Another holo. Bro, these are like, oh, we're smoking them right now. We've only got four boosters to go though. So, uh, yeah. Three GXs or like three ultra rares. And now we're just getting back to back holos. This set is fantastic. All right. We've got artillery right there. Then we've got none other. Oh, God, what is he doing? Doing some kind of like robot dance. All right. Three from the back. Then part number one's over. Come on, one more GX. Give us something crazy. Give us, like, a sign that this is just an error booster box. Oh, dude, that is... Oh, that's so cool. Don't you reckon, like, the way he's, like, made is the coolest type of... I don't know, one of my favorite Pokemons for sure. He's just a combination of everything. It's really cool. I love that one. All right. Second to last booster, guys. <laughs> Can we do it? I'd, I'd probably be happy with just another holo. Because we're getting so, uh, so lucky. Oh! <clears throat> there is a full card that I would love. This one right here. There are so many colors on it. It's amazing. Another uncommon. And then the very last booster. Of part number one. Of this booster box. Is going to contain... Here we go. One, two, three. Two, one. Bang! Oh, it's a Holo and a Lola Marowak, which is a Lola card. I'm completely fine with that. 
What a crazy pot. That was actually nuts. That was insane. And it caught me so off guard because I didn't really know what to expect with this whole set. So, like, let's have a quick recap if we can right now. Holy banana pills. All right, let's do this thing. Part number two is going to go off, though, because we're still guaranteed at least one more GX card. So, that's going to be absolutely fantastic. A Lola Marowak. A, uh, dude, combination of every single fantastic Pokemon ever. The, uh, the jumping goat. <laughs> No, we've got Gengar, then we've got Aggron as well. Alolan Golem as well, far out. Really epic artwork. They nailed those Alolan Pokemon, didn't they? Look at this. It's the Mohawk of Dreams, guys. I know, I don't care what you say about it. Absolutely terrifying at the same time with that claw. And then flipping Warp Energy, Golden Full Art Secret Rare, Ultra Rare card. Bruh. Just nuts. That's so crazy to me. Definitely become the comment section below. What do you think of all these Pokemon? Which card was your favorite? And what do you think of the Golden Warp Energies? Are you a fan of these ultra rare ones? I think it's crazy that we've somehow pulled the rarest cards back to back in these booster boxes. And I know my friends have bought like a couple of these booster boxes and haven't even pulled one yet. We're so lucky. I, get, I can't believe it. And I promise that was 100% legit. I'm not going out and buying Wade booster boxes or anything. This literally just happens to me genuinely. Um, and you guys know because I'll open boxes and get nothing at all. So, yeah, absolutely insane, absolutely hashtag cray. We are guaranteed one more GX, as I said in the previous part. So, uh, yeah, check it out. Part number two, click the annotation. You won't regret it. I'll see you in the next part, guys. Have an absolutely fantastic day. If you don't see part number two on the channel yet, make sure you're subscribed, and uh, it'll pop up in the sub boxes. Most of all, like, subscribe, comment. I don't care what you do. I'll see you part number two, guys. See you then. Peace.